Hey there, this is K4A. In this video today we are going to talk about sketchbook again and is it free and today in this video the answer would be no. In previous uh, the answer was yes. So yeah, those two answers are contradictory. So why is that so and um, <clears throat> what's the difference? Uh, which version is free and which isn't? that's what we're going to clear today i hope so and uh, let's see that in practice so um, uh, i'm going to make a tutorial series uh, about software which is called autodesk sketchbook and uh, that software is still free and still available for download at this link which I was posting in previous video and I'm not sure how long it's going to be on uh, this is Autodesk site so it's all legal it's not piracy it's not torrent or some guy sharing his uh, software he bought somewhere so um, that was one option one software and that software is very similar and a uh, previous version of this one so it's not i would say it's not identical but it's almost the same so this is the previous version and then later they have developed this guy here so you can see they even use i think the same uh, illustration as samples as from these I'm not sure but you can check that out on your own but the, the more important thing here is that this price so this is in US dollars and uh, I guess it's for Microsoft store for US uh, consumers for US um, market but uh, the whole idea is that you have to pay around $25 to buy this software this app and as you can see this guy here this application is developed by sketchbook and it's called sketchbook pro so it's not called autodesk sketchbook or just sketchbook now it's sketchbook pro so that's the difference there is no autodesk like i have it here in my top left corner here because this software was developed by Autodesk and later they gave it away for free and later those guys they bought the company they bought that piece of software from Autodesk and uh, continued developing it because they were developers for Autodesk also and now they are charging $25 for it which is again not so big price I think it's very uh, decent price uh, that's another topic uh, compared to to other software but again uh, if you're going to use this one you have to pay if you're going to use this one older version which again I am not sure how much difference there is uh, between those I will maybe I will even buy this uh, software here premium sketchbook pro to compare it with Autodesk sketchbook just to see uh, have they uh, maybe improved some of the uh, features there are also uh, some things which i don't like again another topic another video maybe in future but uh, uh, in general this is really really uh, great software and uh, that's it uh, in terms of i will make a, key, a few uh, key um, points here also for you who want to more uh, to know more about this in detail but again uh, when you go to sketchbook.com uh, website you uh, almost from the start you have the links for um, software to buy it and if i click on this get it from microsoft microsoft store that will open my uh, s um, price in my uh, um, um, how it's called uh, money which I use in my my uh, country in Serbia it's dinars so it's not 
$25, but it's 3,200 dinners, but it's it works the same. You only have this premium option, the one you have to pay. Uh, you also have this software available for Android and iPhones, uh, which is free to start with, but not with all the options. So if you want to buy all the, I think, yeah, uh, there is some uh, so-called premium bundle as always with mobile phones. So when you want to upgrade, you have to purchase it. I don't see the price, but there is the same feature on I iOS, Apple and Android phones. And uh, yeah, here is some kind of list to check out if you need a premium version for phones. Um, the whole idea here with my channel and me, myself as a developer and artist, I will use the free version and we have talk talked about it in previous video. There is a link for it. Just go to Autodesk site or just Google for sketchbook and one of the first links there will be is sketchbook really free. Yeah, and there is a link for sketchbook Autodesk. Uh, so that is older 2018 version which is still on and still free and I have even found and I will link that also in previous video. I have even found the blog post from uh, these guys here which are owners of the sketchbook now and they have also said okay uh, people who have this older version can continue to use it but this version will not be updated so uh, people who have used sketchbook previously distributed by Autodesk in terms of uh, either through free version or subscription based which is not available anymore you can continue to use it. Uh, this is what I am exactly doing right here, but uh, they're not going to update it. So no new features, no uh, new possibilities for uh, you, new, new items, new tools and stuff like that. Uh, but again, it's good to know that they don't have a problem with it. And also it's funny if you go to Autodesk site, sketchbook is no longer available as of ju June, uh, 2021 Autodesk is discontinuing sketchbook and uh, another news and another explanation how to uh, how they don't do not support the sketchbook uh, because they di have discontinued it and so on so um, they also say you can continue to use your existing version of Autodesk sketchbook again, which I am using here and you can download it here. So no problem with Autodesk. If you want to use it, no problem with these guys here. They just say, okay, that is the older version. We uh, do not update it, update it and uh, we do not own it. Uh, Autodesk also say, okay, you can use it, but we do not updated we do not care about it it's not uh, we sold the rights to newer versions to this company here so uh, that's again uh, more or less the whole drama here and again I had to make it clear because you have it also here on Wikipedia how um, exactly the same thing which I was talking about here in 2021, uh, Autodesk sketchbook was pinned into an independent company. Two former Autodesk sketchbook employees uh, bought probably the rights to that software, to that piece of uh, software and uh, made an uh, independent company. And uh, they are now developing it here. Um, again, you have the links, you have the choice, but we have to make that clear because there are different two different versions the one is sketchbook pro which is uh, updated new version owned by sketchbook company and the older version uh, which is still available for download and available to use and still very very 
uh, fine to use very uh, professional uh, almost all the same features as this guy here so uh, from my point of perspective there is no uh, big difference or not enough to buy this premium at least for now I will check that in future and especially if you're a beginner or indie developer on the other side I would strongly recommend at least trying this software because it's very intuitive easy to learn fast fast in development it has a small footprint the size of the files are very small uh, the size of the installation is very small uh, you can uh, open different files like uh, files from Photoshop, PSD and uh, so on you can save your files in different formats PNG, JPEG, uh, PSD also for people who use to, uh, Photoshop to send them but the most important uh, thing is how intuitive he, this uh, um, um, software is so you can you have all the stuff almost all the stuff i would like to have in photoshop but i don't have it maybe new versions of photoshop have it i am not using them uh, and it's all very lightweight it's all there for you to use it uh, no uh, so much option not so many options and uh, which will uh, block you from uh, developing like in photoshop or make your files bigger in uh, size and non-responsive and so on so this is very very um, powerful from my point of perspective but we will see that i hope in some of the uh, next videos where we are going to learn how to use this uh, excellent piece of software until then uh, thanks for watching uh, see you in next videos and bye for now